the holder of hopelessness. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of hopelessness. If the worker looks right through you, as if to look beyond this world, then you are safe. If they look directly at your eyes, the holder is already carefully watching you. Should this happen, run. Run as far away as you can. You must never cease reminding yourself that you are indeed alive. If you are unnoticed by the worker, he or she will stand up and walk blindly towards what they are staring at behind you. Follow them until you reach a blank wall. At this point, the worker will miserably retreat back to the loneliness of the front desk as if nothing had happened. Face the bare wall and stomp thrice. The space around you will begin to become distorted. Do not look at what is happening around you, for what is occurring is beyond your own mental capacity. Soon a chill will fill the air and you'll find yourself in an empty room consumed by darkness. A chorus of screams and moans will echo throughout. It is now safe to open your eyes. A distorted voice will start to call out for you. The voice will sound bold, however, a hint of loneliness can be heard amidst its eerie voice. Do not search for the source of the voice. Simply ask the question, Why have they all given up? A being will appear from a void which will open up in front of you. This being will take on your own image in order to allow your mind to process it. However, if he senses your fear, he will become a hellish beast of an infinite size and shape which will tear your flesh to shreds and drink your blood as its nourishment. The being of your image will begin to utter words in a language that you cannot understand. Should you begin to understand what he is saying, it is too late to save yourself, for what he is saying will describe the void of nothingness in every single cold, dark, and gruesome detail. It will tell you the tales of sorrow, agony, and pain tormented souls had experienced after they had been sent into oblivion. The mere mention of these stories will tempt you to kill yourself in order to liberate yourself from the torture your mind will be undergoing. Pray, for your sake, that you don't recognize this language. Should you hear a series of incomprehensible words, shout. I will not be discouraged. It will begin to slowly sulk towards you as its skin melts off and becomes a wicked demon of unimaginable horror. Do not move. Do not breathe. Stare directly at it without flinching. Its lips will curl up into a smirk of pure evil. Suddenly, your body will be cast into the dark, cold abyss. As you fall, you will lose your ability to think or feel. The time you spend in this area is unknown, for time does not exist in that realm. If you did not falter when it approached you, you will eventually awaken. If you had flinched, you will suffer a fate worse than an eternity in hell. If you regain consciousness, you will find yourself facing the previously blank wall, now bearing an oddly eerie painting. The painting will be of a smiling man, covered in blood, standing amidst a barren land, surrounded by many different accursed objects. This painting will seem familiar, 
like you have seen it somewhere before. However, something will be slightly askew, as if many things are missing from the picture. As you remove the painting from the wall, a feeling of hopelessness will rush throughout your body. The painting is object 323 or 538. The painting must never be shown to anyone else. Ever. <laughs>